What's going on guys, Celtic CC here. I'm on my main account and I thought I'd do an ultra review just to show you my heroes and what I'm using all together. What I got. So we'll start off, I'll just go through all the heroes I got. So I got Spirit Mage, Double Evolved, level 200. I use them a lot for dungeons. Granted, Tenacity is not a good um, uh, talent choice. I don't recommend you use Tenacity. That was coming from playing on Facebook on the PC version and yeah, I used to use them for raiding. And keeping him alive was quite important. That's why I went with Tenacity. Go with War God. I don't know if I ever bothered changing that because I'm not sure how useful the Spirit Mage will be for getting through insane Dungeon 7s. Went with Life Drain on PD. Really good choice for PD. It's either Berserk, Revite, or Life Drain for PD. I really like Life Drain PD, no doubt about it. Really handy for things like, you know, Solar and Wretched Gorge. And uh, he got through, got me through dungeons brilliantly. So, yeah, Life Drain, good choice. A War God on Minotaur. He's. Um, Devil 200, uh, so was PD, he was double evolved 200. Only choice to go for talent wise is uh, War God for Minotaur. You want that OP damage to get him through, to get you through the dungeons. Deadly Strike, my favourite uh, talent for Skull Knight, no doubt about it. I think when he goes off, he's hitting like over 800,000 damage a hit. Um, I got Scat and Corrode on backup accounts. I definitely prefer Deadly Strike. I'm glad I went with Deadly Strike on my main account. Five revive for Valentina, she double evolved two hundred. Only way to go with Valentina is five revive. Uh, I ended up going with Scatter, so I got eight Scatter on my double evolved two hundred Phantom King. Um, I actually at the start thought Scatter would be a bad choice for uh, Phantom King, considering he already does energy reduction. But I really like Scatter now. I'm glad I went with Scatter in the end. Um, Bulwark, you know, it's, it's either Stone Skin or Bulwark is usually the, the preference for Grim Fiend. Double Evolve 200, skill level 10, all that. Um, 8 Bulwark, he hits like a truck. Now with the Destiny as well, I've started levelling him up on Destiny. He's just absolute beast for damage. Trixie Treat, 8 Bulwark. Obviously go with Bulwark, she already comes with a War Guard. Double Evolve 200, got her up to skill level 10. Um, a good choice for Trixie Tree. The other good one is Five Revite if you want a good for the PvP modes, but I'd like the extra damage she does in the PvP modes with the Bulwark. War Guard, best choice for Lil Nick. Got him uh, max state, uh, double evolve 200, skill level 10. Um, really happy with War Guard, definitely a good choice. Blade Shell on Michael. Um, it's the only hero I would recommend Blade Shell for, pretty much. Um, it actually goes off when his shield's up, so instead of um, you know, it normally deflects how much. Um, oh, sorry, deflects seventy five percent damage, and so he's deflected hundred percent, thirty percent of the time when his shields up. So, really good choice, Blade Shelf on Michael. I highly recommend it. I got Corrode as well. Corrode's also another good choice, but I'm glad I went with Blade Shelf. I got him double evolved, two hundred skill level ten. War God for Heartbreaker. Really good choice, either War God or, or Re Five Revite, I guess, are the two main choices. I went with War God, so she hits like a tank. Double Evolve 200, skill level 10. New base, War God, I reckon is his best talent. You know, um, arguably Bulwark's the other one, but I went with War God. Um, absolute beast hero. Double, uh, double Evolve 200, skill level 10. Definitely, definitely go with War God on Ronin. I don't agree with Scorch. I got a Scorch on a backup and I hate him. I think he's a load of rubbish. War God with Scatcrest is the only way to go with, with Ronin. It makes him an absolute beast hero. He always put, already puts out a lot of damage anyway. His, his base damage attack's really good with the War God. Just makes him an absolute beast hero. I went with Corrode on uh, one of the few heroes I got Corrode on actually. So I got five Corrode. Um, double Evolve 200. I only just recently Double Evolved this Rock Nose, so he's fairly brand new to the Double Evolve stage. Only got him up to skill level 8, working on him at the moment. Walla Walla, what a game changer he is. Um, I went with Stone Skin. It's usually Stone Skin or Flame Guard is the choice. You know, it helps keep him alive, which is what you want. So he's getting those procs off. Skill level 10, Double Evolve 200, absolute beast hero. 8 Bulwark. On my double of all 200, skill level 10. Ghoulam, I also got the skin for him. Bulwark, it's usually Bulwark or Stone Skin, the two choices. I went with Bulwark. Five Revite on Cupid. I won't bother saying double evolve 200, skill level 10 anymore. You can see whether they're that. So I'll just I'll just read out the talents just to speed it up. 
This is the controversial one. I actually like Revive on Dread Drake. I'm not going to say it's his best talent, but I like it. It's, it's useful. I mean, Dread Drake's kind of been demoted. He's not on my hero base anymore. You know, only you know, he gets used in my, my team two for Fortress Fury, and they still use him in Lost Battlefield. I like Revive. I, I think it's good. You know, with his shield and everything, having two Dread Drakes come up is um, you know, is handy. I oh, got the skin for him as well. Of course, got the skin on Ares. Um, five revite, you know. I mean, if I ever get five revite crest and I'm still using Ares, I might try and change that to a war god or something. But you know, you got to have a five revite Ares as a game. Still a game changer in a lot of ways. Um, got the new skin for Vlad. Um, I went with war god. Best choice for Vlad, definitely. Eight war god, so he hits with a lot of damage. Also got the skin for Medusa. Five revite. I love Medusa, I think she's like another Aries, she's great, I really like this skin as well. My Sasquatch is double evolved now, I got him up to 194, I'm working on him at the moment, got him up to skill level 8, also working on his skill. Um, I'm saving up my trade fame to get his war god up to 8, and then I'll be working on destiny and augmenting him and all that, so all my trade fame's going into Sasquatch at the moment, I'm hoping... It's going to be a good investment and he's going to replace maybe Ares on my hero base and um, he'll come into my team one for Fortress Field. I may even test him out soon in the next Fortress, even though he's not quite maxed out yet. And you got him up to skill inscription, um, crest inscription 94. Druid, I got Zerg on Druid, I just need to level that up, only up to skill level 9. He's only single evolved as well. Um, Zerg's a good choice to have for Druid, no doubt about it. My Multanica. He's only single evolve. These are all the single evolves we're getting territory we're getting into now. Got him up to eight scatter. It's either scatter or revite, I guess, are the best choices for Multanica. I personally say the only way to go is scatter. He's a really good scatter malt. Still really useful for a lot of things. Don't use him as much as I used to. Um, war God on Pixie for sniping. I used to have four revite. I changed it to a five War God, but I don't use her for sniping much, so I, you know. I mean, she's just kind of been demoted on, on this can. I don't use Pixie much anymore, but, you know, she's still one of my um, main healers when it comes to Fortress Feud, so she's still useful. Um, seven Revive on Happy Queen. I don't recommend that. I just went with it. I don't know why. I just rolled the five Revive in the early days and um, left it on her. You know, you want like a war god, really. But, you know, she's still a good hero, Happy Queen. She puts out some damage and everything, damage reduction, so, you know. Um, I went with Seven Zerg on my Candy Cane. She's only single evolved. And then I put Scatter Crests on her. So she's putting down like fast scatter and then puts extra scatter when a prop goes off. It's only really like this kind of choice I do recommend because she's got a long reach, you know. Um, so the Zerg is really hand handy in PvP mode. The only other way to go is 5 Revite, but I went with Zerg. My Actica, 5 Revite. I need to get him double evolved um, at some point. I only got him up to skill level 8. I need to put some extra work into him. But five, it's either Scat or Revite. So I went with Revite. My Lady Leo was actually born with this Scat. And I actually like it because you know it's useful for Fortress Fuel. And it's the only game mode she gets used in. Apart from Expeditions, she sometimes has to get subbed in. But, you know, um, yeah, she only gets used for Fortress Field and, and like my Team 4 or 5 or something, really. You know, when all my main heroes are dead. Um, I went with Bulwark for Revenant. There's lots of choices you can go for Revenant. Um, he's only single evolved, you know. Kind of, um, he's like a mid-range hero, really. Revenant. I, I, you know, when I run out of things to level up, I might put some extra work into him. But at the moment, you know, he's just maxed out, single evolved, six Bulwark. Mectessa, I went with Bulwark for Mectessa, which you know is an okay choice, I guess. There's nothing wrong with Bulwark on Mectessa. Only got her up to skill level seven. She only gets used in Fortress Feud, really, you know, in Expedition. So, you know, I mean, I she I, she's good, Mac Tessa, but you know, they brought out a lot of other heroes, and she kind of she she never really made the step up to like you know one of my main heroes. She was always in the background, right? Athene. I'm sleeping on Athene a little bit because I'm I'm putting so much work in the Sasquatch, but she may become a major player on the account. I managed to get a War God. I've already leveled it up to the level 7. I've got to work on a skill eventually. I've got a single evolved up to 188. She may become big in the future. I went with Corrode for um, Orcsbane. You know, Orcsbane, he's, he's a backup healer. Corrode's a good choice to go for for the PvP modes. Seven Warguard on my Santa Boom. Warguard, best choice for him. I went with Bulwark, so I've got six Bulwark on my Destroyer. 
I remember six bulwark on warlock. You know, if I'd rolled a five revite, I would have gone with revite. But I had nowhere else to put the bulwark, so I just put it on warlock. I don't use warlock much, you know. Um, ended up I had, I had a life drain on Trianta, but it wasn't any good really. So I ended up putting a heaven's wrath because there's a chance for stun. So that's good for the PvP modes, you know. Um, don't use Trent that much. My beast team is single evolved level one eighty six flame guard. You know. Um, it's a good talent to have for Beast Teamer, you know, I mean, so he's useful for the PvP modes, but again, so many new heroes came out, I ended up kind of forgetting him, really. Got work on him eventually. Dragax, one of those underrated heroes, I think, I, you know, Dragax is okay, he's not as terrible as everyone thinks. He was born with a scatter, so it makes him quite useful for Fortress Field. Good to have him in the back, like... Um, Life Drain, Siren, you know, I mean, I don't even use her for Arch Demon, so she doesn't get used much at all. A full revite on my Atlantico, five condemnation on my Death Knight, these these are all evolved heroes now. I actually forgot, yeah, I actually evolved the Thunder God, so that's my main Thunder God, he's five Flame Guard. I'm getting up in the backup territories and one couple of good heroes at the back here as well, so that's another Corrode, I got a backup Corrode, um, Dread Drake. Five scat uh, ninja. There's no point having a ninja unless you got scat on him, really. And yes, I finally got a gunslinger on this account. Um, I haven't been putting a lot of work into it really. I just got to rip the 180. I haven't got a decent talent on it yet. Only four tenacity. You know, if I roll like a stone skin or a war god, I'll put it on her. But yeah, I find it's nice to have her. I finally got a gunslinger. You know, Sasquatch is taking up all my time, so she's not getting involved much. Um. Then I got I have got Creation of One again because of Sasquatch. I, I ended up rolling Creation Athene and Sasquatch all at the same time, so Creation's kind of been forgotten about. I'm probably going to stick with the Sharp, and I will put some work into him eventually. You know, I was going to get to that stage where everything else is sorted. I'll, I'll level him up. And I got Five Flame Guardy, Matep, a backup Ares, backup Corrode, backup PD. That's my main Reaper. I've got Sharp and on him. Back a pack to Kerr, and there we go. These are all like the draggy heroes now. I won't bother, you know. I mean, like, I got like a Snowzilla. I don't know if I'll ever bother leveling him up. Kind of a waste of time on the same for like Champion. I hate Champion, I think he sucks. I'll probably just end up consuming him eventually. So, yeah, that's all my heroes, guys, you know. And then, like, right at the back, I got like obviously, like, you know, I got six elites and uh, six ordinaries. Um, there's an issue with the, the new Destiny update now with elites and ordinaries because they're gonna, you know. Sort of cap. Oh yeah, I got back. This is quite half half decent. I got back up um, Rock No with five flame guard. Yeah, with the Destiny update, this could be an issue with elites and ordinaries because obviously there's like I think there's like eight elites and uh, there's nine elites and I think there's eight eight ordinaries. So with the Destiny update, there's going to be an issue for people because they won't be able to get their Destiny points to max if they don't have the right um, elites and ordinaries. And like you know, like I got doubles here. I got like two frost switches and two Serpent Queens, so I'll have to see how that plays out eventually. So yeah, that's my main account, guys. That's the that's what I'm rocking with. Those are my heroes. Um, well, what I'll do, this is what I used to do on my old channel, is like, you know, I do a alter review after a year. If I'm still making cast class videos and playing the game, I'll do another alter review in a year and see what new heroes we've got by then. Should be a fair few. And then cheers, guys.